Today I'm going to show you how to figure out if a journal is reputable. There's a couple of tools that you can use to do this. Um, some journals will email you and ask you to publish uh, with them and they may not be the most reputable journal. They may even be questionable or what we call predatory. So let's look at how we identify if it's a good journal. The first tool that we always use uh, is the NLM catalog. So if you go ahead and go to PubMed and you can do this from the library's homepage going to look like your regular PubMed, but if you click on this little drop down menu and you look down a little further, there's an NLM catalog. Um, so if you search for a journal in the NLM catalog, it'll tell you if it's indexed in Medline. And this is um, something that we use to determine quality. Um, so here, this is the Journal of Cancer Research and Therapeutic Oncology. It's in PubMed, it's listed there, but that doesn't mean it's indexed in Medline. Medline vets journals to make sure they're of the highest quality. So when we click on the record, um, you can actually see uh, that this journal is not currently indexed for Medline, and it explains to you um, citations for articles where the manuscript were deposited into PubMed Central. These were to be compliant with the NIH public access policy. So basically, it's in PubMed. That doesn't mean it's a good journal. It's not indexed in Medline. That's a red flag to me that it could be that it's a really new journal, um, except in this case, I can see it's been around since 2013. Um, but it also means that it hasn't been vetted or approved uh, by the National Library of Medicine. So I'm going to stop uh, there and kind of question whether this is a good journal. The second place that I always go is the directory of open access journals. If you are publishing in an open access journal, it should be listed in the directory of open access journals. So if I search for the same journal title and it doesn't pop up, pop up in the directory of open access journals, that means that it's a questionable journal as well. The directory of open access journals is vetting uh, these titles as well for quality. If they don't include it in their list, then it's something to be concerned about. So if we look for something like PLUS that we know is very reputable, it's listed here. It lets you know when um, the directory of open access journals added it, 2007, it's been around a while. It's a legit journal. The next place you can look is Cavill's. This is a subscription service that the library has. Um, Cavill's has what's known as a blacklist. Uh, the blacklist reports is where people report um, questionable journals. So not every questionable journal is going to be listed in the blacklist, uh, but you can search for a title uh, to see if it has potential violations is what they call them. So the journal that I showed you earlier, if I search for it, it's actually not listed in the blacklist, but we do consider it to be potentially questionable. Um, but if I just search for cancer research, um, you can see that there's some other titles in here um, that have violations, potential violations. You can actually click on these and um, see what the violations are to try to kind of understand why it might be predatory. If you have more questions about how to identify a quality journal, please ask the library. You can visit our website at mdanderson.org forward slash library. Uh, we do have a chat tool where you can chat us during open hours. Uh, we have an FAQ section. You can call us. You can email us. You can stop by. We're here for you.